Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code weekly contest 347. It's a medium level problem. So the problem name is minimum cost to make all characters equal. So the problem statement says that you are given a zero index binary string S of length N on which you can apply two type of operation. The first operation is choose an index I and invert all the characters from index number zero to index number I both inclusive with a cost of I plus one. Now the second type of operation is choose an index i and invert all the characters from index i to index i sorry n minus 1 both inclusive okay with the cost of n minus i return the minimum cost to make all characters of the string equal inverting a character means you change 0 to 1 and vice versa okay in short we have to convert we have to make all the characters equal with minimum cost okay after applying some operations okay what are those operations the first operation is you choose a prefix Okay, you choose a prefix and invert all the characters. Then the cost of inverting those characters is basically <coughs> the number of characters you have left. So 0 to i is i minus 0 plus 1. That is the cost will be i plus 1. Okay, the second option is if this is the string. Okay, and if you invert the characters uh, in the form of a suffix, then from i to n minus 1. So how? what's the cost of this? n minus 1 minus i plus 1. These cancels out n minus i. Right, because if I have uh, a closed interval L to R, so how many points are there? R minus L plus one, so that is why. I to N minus one is N minus one minus I plus one, this cancels out, this is N minus I, okay? So these are the two operations you have to perform and we have to tell what is the minimum cost, right? So let's start, okay? So the first example is zero, zero, one, one, okay? Now, I'll be, I'll be traversing the string and I'll be checking <clears throat> What's the first point of difference? What do I mean by that? Check consecutive characters, okay? Check consecutive characters wherever there is a difference, okay? Uh, in short, the ith character is not equal to the i minus 1th character. The adjacent characters are not equal. Then what do you do? You see what is the best operation that I can perform at that particular point of time, okay? What I mean by th that? These two characters are same. Do nothing. These two characters are different, okay? So 0, 0, 1, 1. These two characters are different. Now, what are the options that I have? Either I can flip these bits, okay? Remember, if I'm standing at the ith position, all the characters from 0 to i minus 1 are equal, right? I flipped them or uh, and they are same, right? So whenever I reach the ith position, all the characters before me are same, okay? So I'm standing here. What are the two options that I have? Either I can flip these two characters okay either i can flip these two characters so the cost will be two so it will become one 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 or the other option is <clears throat> i can flip these two characters okay again the cost will be two here the cost is same and this will become zero 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 so what i mean to say wherever you find the first point of difference you have two options either you uh, flip the prefix or you flip the suffix okay so whatever is the minimum cost you do that Okay, let's take a uh, better example and see what I mean to say. <clears throat> so here I have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, this is my string. I start from here. Okay, the first two characters are not same. Okay, so I have to flip. Now I have two options. Either I can flip this bit, the cost will be 1. Or I can flip these bits. Okay, if I flip this bit, this becomes 1. And if I fl flip these bits, then these invert, right? It becomes 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on. <clears throat> but ultimately, if you flip it, so what is the minimum cost? It's minimum of 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? It's minimum of these two, right? If you flip it, it is minimum of these two. So obviously, you flip the left one, right? You flip the, flip the prefix. So your cost is 1 plus what is your string now? It becomes 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay? These two are same. I move to this position now. Again, these two characters are not same, right? I compare the i and i minus 1th character. These two are not same. Again, I have two options. Either I can flip the prefix. So that is a cost of 2. Or I can flip, flip the suffix. Okay. So what will happen? If I flip the suffix, so what happens? I'll, I'll, I'll be making it 1, right? Because at this particular point of time, what are the options? i and i minus 1 are not equal. So either you make i minus 1 equals to ith character right or ith character equals to i minus 1th character so flipping the prefix means i am making the i minus 1th character equals to ith character okay and all, all of them are same so basically everyone will be inverted the second option is 
I can make the ith character equals to the i minus 1th character. In that case, I have to flip the suffix. Simple stuff, okay? So, I was here, right? 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. I come here. These two characters are not same. So, either you flip the prefix, so that is the cost of 2, or you flip the suffix, okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, obviously, you pick this, right? So, initially, your cost was, uh, the first step had a cost of uh, 1, right? 1 plus this guy has a cost of 2 so your now your string becomes 1 1 okay we have we have basically flipped it so it becomes sorry 0 0 0 1 0 1 i come here again these two are not equal so what you do either you can flip these three or you can flip these three both are same you can do anything anything so your cost will become plus 3 and let let's suppose we are uh, flipping the first part okay so it becomes 1 1 1 one zero one okay then i come here again now again what are the options either i can flip these bits or i can flip these okay so obviously the cost is four comma two you pick this right you flip them so your cost is plus two one 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 zero now again this is not same so you flip the last character that has a cost of one what is your total cost one plus two three six seven eight nine and 9 is your answer, okay? So, in short, if this is your string, you are at the i-th position, compare it with i minus 1th position, okay? There are two options. Either you flip all the characters from 0 to i minus 1, or you flip all the characters from i to n minus 1. Simple. Just pick. which which Whichever has minimum cost, you do that, okay? Let's come to the code. It's very simple. Your answer is 0. You start from 1. You compare i and i minus 1th character, okay? If they are not equal, then what do you do? Either you flip the prefix or you flip the suffix. So you pick the minimum of the minimum of the minimum of the two and you add it to your answer. Finally, you return the answer, right? There are multiple ways to solve this problem. This is obviously the easiest one, the greedy approach. Again, um, you can you can probably create a recursive tree and then memoize it. But again, that's not needed here. That would make your solution complex. This is the easiest one because Ultimately, at every particular point of time, you have to either change the i-th character to i minus 1th character or i minus 1th character to i-th character, okay? So out of the two options, at every particular point of time, we pick up the minimum, we add it to our answer, right? And we that's why we, we saw the better example and then uh, the cost was 9, right? So yeah, that's it for the solution. Uh, I hope you learned something new from this video. Do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel. In case of any queries, mention that in the comment section. I'll do it on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.